Hello, welcome back to the channel. Yes, we've got a lovely sunny day here in Blackpool. It's uh, approaching three o'clock on Easter Saturday. So I know we've done a walk yesterday. Um, I'm going to try and mix it up a little bit so it's not the same as yesterday's and try and give you some information while we're out and about. Yeah, we're just at the back of the Claremont Hotel and the Tiffany, Tiffany's Hotel there. But uh, yeah, on Dixon Road we are. Dixon Road down there but um, I thought I'd point this building out to you here it's um, you can probably tell what it used to be but it used to be a cinema in in Blackpool's heyday we had about 22 cinemas were all operating at one time so there was never a shortage of cinemas in Blackpool and that was just in the Blackpool area yeah this cinema here opened in 1913 and by the mid 30s it was a 750 seater cinema yeah so those who don't know have gone past it all it closed down in 1960 but yeah that is an old cinema there uh, yeah closed down in 1960 so uh, yeah just sort of let you know about that if you've walked up and down here and don't know about it I've known about this for a long time and I could always tell it was a cinema but uh, I thought I'd bring it to your attention yeah, so we're just going to walk down Dixon Road and we're going to have a wander through the town see, see if we can see anybody out partying and try and do something slightly different to what we've done yesterday because you don't want to see the same thing on a second day running and um, yeah, I shall attempt to keep coming out every day during this Easter break and uh, try and mix, mix things up a bit for you Lulu's over there yeah, that's no news. I've mentioned this before, but this shop here, if you stay ever in the area, this shop is actually open till midnight, seven days a week. So if you ever need any of those last minute things and you're staying in the area, um, yeah. That's uh, open till midnight. Right, let's continue. Yeah, this is the Duke. Used to be called the Duke of York, and it just closed down for a bit of a refurb. So um, I might try and attempt to go in there and just show you in there for anybody that's interested. Now, if I do these things, I won't do a lot of talking in there because they might not want me filming in there. I mean, it's their good that I do because it's helping people know about places they haven't known about before. But uh, I did say yesterday's video, I started to do a little bit of this. But let's just have a little nose in here and show you. Yeah, it's quite a po popular pub. It does karaoke, got music, it's open quite late at night. And as you can see, it's not far from the town right, down here there. Here we go. Yeah, Nobody in here. Yeah, there's a brief look. I haven't been in this since it's been refurbed. It's totally different. Totally different. So yeah, that was the Duke. That was the Duke of York. It was the Duke of York. It's now just called the Duke. Right, let's continue down. And let's get into town and we can see if anybody's out enjoying themselves. View of your holiday in there. Right, the next pub. I'm not going to do every pub today, but uh, it's just an idea I'll come up with, and hopefully, 
you will enjoy it but we're going to try and have a little walk through Mark Kelly's now discreetly and for those that don't go in there or always a bit worried about going in there I'll show you a bit of Mark Kelly's if I can Kelly's is that Mark Kelly's is absolutely packed so all you'd see is just back to back people if it's too packed you're not going to see anything other than just bodies right bodies bodies right up against the camera Yeah, there was a glimpse. I did do it in the end. There's just too many people in there. Garfields. Garlands. It's all just reopened as well in there. Lots of people about. Love and love, sorry. Yeah, we we nipped in there just to show you the atmosphere in there. But it's uh, I couldn't walk all the way around Mark Ellis for you because it's just too busy. It's the Victoria there. Yes. Looking down towards the Winter Gardens there in Abingdon Street. Oh, I'm so glad this weather's really good for the um, holiday makers here. I mean, this is another interesting pub. I don't want to just do one of these all walking in every single one, but while I get an opportunity, I might as well show you. So let me just show you this, uh, this station pub now. a little bit of the station up for you there I don't know what they're gonna come out like because I try not to show too much that I'm filming there's the gallon bar over there it's another late bar that's one of them bars that doesn't really get going to about 10 o'clock at night as sort of mic, uh, open mic nights and bands and local sort of acoustic music playing. It's an interesting bar actually. I quite like it, but I haven't been in there for a long time. That's our library there. Right, let's have a wander down Queen Street. Yeah, this video might be a bit long, this one, but it's an Easter special, so you have to do it, don't you? Slug and Lettuce there, many years ago, was the Litton Tree.
I'm not going to get around everywhere, I'm not going to go in every single bar, but it's just to mix up and show you something different. Yeah, this place is not very really lively till night time, but once it's dark, it gets very, very busy down here. Sherlock's there. And here's the ever popular Soul Suite, which is buzzing away with people. What a place to sit in the sunshine. I did briefly show you the newest bar to open down here yesterday, which was Bee's Knees. <coughs> <coughs> Let's just put our head in there and show you briefly again. A lot of these people won't mind me doing what I'm doing, and I'm probably better off to ask. But uh, let's just show you a little bit of Bee's Knees. Yeah, it's very busy in here, but just give you a brief open the door and show you There you go. Yes, it's certainly buzzing in Blackpool. So yeah, there's a couple of bars I've been in. I won't overdo it today and do it all day long. But uh, yeah, every now and again we will just go in and uh, show you a few places. Maybe try and get a few food places as well. Yesterday, if you didn't watch it, we went in Revolution uh, to show you what that was like in the daytime as well. Oh, what a difference it makes when the sun is shining, doesn't it? It's really good for Blackpool's a good start for the season. Anyway, I owe an apology to somebody while I think about it. I bumped into some subscribers um, a week or so ago that were from Telford. And I apologise for not giving you a shout out. I know you watch my channel and I apologise, I forgot your names. I also spoke to Popeyes, mate, and he forgot your names as well. So we're both to blame. But I just want to say hello to you now and uh, wish you a happy Easter. Look at this. Hmm. Gotta love it, haven't you? Or hate it, as some do. Yeah, the Merry, Merry England. I can't get my words out today. Merry England there. Yeah, let me know if you want me to continue and go into a few places. That was never challenge me. There we are, June. There's your premiere for you. Happy Easter to you. Yeah, well, all these people out going out drinking and partying, I feel jealous. But I'm, I'm going to have a go tomorrow on it, I think. All being well. This is Turtle Bay here. Turtle Bay is a drinking place, good for cocktails. Even this. Got a few people. No, I'm no I do I know I'm doing a daytime one around the bars and they can be even more funnier and entertaining when it gets dark and I will be doing them. 
and I couldn't sit indoors and wait for it to get dark if you know what I mean today so I thought I'm going to come out all right let's continue our journey yeah I just want to try and mix things up a bit and uh, you know continue to make the vlogs interesting look at this How interesting is that? I've got to show you this, haven't I really? This tower here. I'm not sure what they call it, but this Blackpool Tower. I've just found out. Uh, okay, well, we're, we're wandering along the promenade, and so uh, we're almost in the town. And look at the beach house. What a place to sit. It's absolutely rammed. Look at it. Everybody's on it, and I'm not on it. And you've got this view here. So yeah. There's your view. There's your North Pier. Yeah, and that's just another angle of the beach house. Yeah, we're going to have to call this an Easter special. It's going to be a bit longer, isn't it? I know some of you like these long ones. I hope you can hear me. There was a bit of a gust of wind there. Very naughty. I've got so many places I want to visit and things to do. And now this weather's changing. I can get out get to some different areas for you. Yeah, there's a bit of a breeze as you can probably hear, but it's a lovely day. There's a queue over here for the tower. I don't know what's going on there. Comedy carpet. Yes, we are open. Once again, thank you for yesterday for all the comments and all the views I had on the video. I know this one's a bit more of a walking one rather than stopping and telling you about places, but you get to see it, can't you? Yeah, look at even Weatherspoons, look, Albert and Lyon. And there's the blue skies of Blackpool for you. And now I'm retired, I've got so much more time to concentrate on the videos as well. Everywhere is just absolutely packed. I do like to be by the seaside. Look at it. This is March. There's people everywhere. What a difference it makes, doesn't it? You're not a 
on, Trem. It's packed, isn't it? Absolutely packed. We'll start to cover some of the the south side as well during the summer period. Yes, so I hope this is going to be slightly different from yesterday's and you're not going to think, oh, this is just another same as yesterday. I'll try to mix it all up. We'll get one done tomorrow. And even Monday, but Monday's normally a quieter day. It's strange, isn't it? You have a bank holiday Monday, but it can go quiet because a lot of people go home. They go home on a, on a Monday. But, uh, yeah, we went in Coral Island yesterday. We're not going to go back in there again. So, public toilets there. And... Uh, the back of it is a disabled side for those disabled people. Yeah, it's certainly busy. I don't want to overdo it and we see the same old thing, but... Shame about those big shops over there. You've got the old pound stretcher closed up and the one next to it in the grey, in the centre, that's the old Argos, just sitting there empty. come out without a bag today. I'm going to have a bag in case I want to buy something, but I'll come out without that today. As you can see, there's just so many people about. Let's hope this weather continues for everybody that's come away with the children and obviously spent a lot of money as well to come away because it's not cheap, is it? And there's always a premium of weekends and Easter on top. Right, I think I'm going to go in McDonald's, get myself a coffee and go and sit on the front and then I will return and do a little bit more through the town. Let me know if you're enjoying this video and I'll catch you all again in a bit. Yeah, I've got my coffee, look. So I'm going to go and sit by the ocean and drink my coffee and then we'll have a little wander through the town, shall we? Tide is just going out as you can see right down there. Kids already in the sea down there now. Yep, that tide's going out. 
<coughs> the donkeys are on the beach and people are in the sea and we're still in March. Absolutely buzzing Blackpool. There's even a jet ski out there. I don't know whether you heard that or not. Well, I know this video is going to be a little bit similar to yesterday's, but it's got a bit of a bit more of a twist in it. So I do hope you enjoy it. I've enjoyed making the film anyway. Cues and cues for the tower. My days. Yeah, I should get out tomorrow, I think, and do a bit of this. A little bit of this, right? Let's have a little twist into the town now, shall we? Oh, ding, ding. Yeah, I mentioned it on the video yesterday about this shop in here and um, yeah it's worth a look in there slightly different to your normal tat shops and I don't mean that in a horrible way by tat but I think that's what they're called anyway I love Blackpool haven't you <laughs> Right, let's have a wander up here Cookies there, cafe. I recommend that place if you've never been in there before. Been there a long time, well, well established. Good quality food in there. Yeah, cookies. And these Easter eggs are going fast in this shop. Oh, got a bit of wind there, did you hear it? Not from me. Yeah, they're gone down, didn't they? That's when I showed you that pile before. Well, I think I've captured some great footage of Blackpool. And, uh, yeah, there won't be a night one tonight, I don't know. I don't know, I don't think there will be a night one. But, uh, just wanted to show you it all. And there will be some night ones. This is going to be quite a long video, even though I shall 
chop it about. And the other thing we've got on in Blackpool is uh, dancing as well. So we've got all the dancing competition going on in Winter Gardens. <coughs> Yeah, even this, and um, we've got all these dancers here. <laughs> yeah, I do like the nighttime videos, they can be quite entertaining. When I watch them. Anyway, listen, we're in Abingdon Street. Should we go through Abingdon Street Market? But I call it Wacky Warehouse. Without the testosterone. Let's have a wander through. Let's have a look through there then. We know we have been through there before. But yeah, we slip in there then. And then I better wrap up. I better wrap up this video then after that. Otherwise, it might get too long. Here we go. Love a bit of music, don't bother me. Right, here we go. Bit of wacky warehouse. Yeah, it's not as busy as I thought it would be in here actually. DJ playing there, a bit of music. Yeah. Nice little atmosphere in here, isn't it, today? Yeah. There you go, a little bit of wacky warehouse for you. Yeah, this is a special shop now for a subscriber that now lives in Canada. And in 1968, he started working for the post office in Bolton, and he was sent to Blackpool to work in this post office, which he says he always remembers and will never forget the good times he had. So uh, I apologise for getting your name, but that's just my age, and I'm out and about walking. But uh, yeah, he had great memories working in here when he got sent from Bolton to work in this post office. Well, I'm going to leave the video there. I hope you've enjoyed this one. A little bit slightly different to yesterday. And uh, all being well, I might be able to get a short one in tomorrow. Um, anyway, enjoy the rest of your evening and weekend. And I hope you enjoy this one. Take care for now. Bye-bye.